Hey Casey, why do so many games suck at moving downward on a slope? Like when you run down a steep hill, sometimes a game might throw you airborne for some reason and you end up taking a bazillion fall damage. Uh, yeah, so it's because uh, of really crappy collision detection coding. Um, so I'll, I can show you. Oh, whoops, that was a mistake. Uh, so yeah, what ends up happening, oh, did Windows, t oh, Windows 10, so Windows 10 updated itself and it deinstalled all of my drivers, all of them, the Wacom driver, the, um, the sound card driver, it just removed them all. I just don't understand Microsoft sometimes. God, I, I hope I live to see the day when they just flamingly go out of business and no one uses this operating system anymore because, oh my God, it's so terrible. Um, so I can't even use my drawing pad. Microsoft. Wacom. This is an in 203, right? 203. Oh, my God. Microsoft. Two S three. Look familiar? It's because we already did it on the Handmade Hero setup stream. Until Microsoft decided to uninstall all my drivers. I gotta go to my router and block all the Windows Update ports. That bullshit's gotta end. Undeployer. That's my new superhero name. I am the Undeployer. Well, thanks for asking that question, by the way, because I wouldn't have known that they uninstalled my driver for the Wacom tablet if I hadn't just been asked a question. So thank you for asking the question. Now at least this will be installed next time. I don't know that I want to bother rebooting right now to make it actually go, but uh, at least it will be installed for the next time. You know what I'm saying to you? All right, let's try this again. There we go. Uh, okay, so the problem is uh, as follows. <clears throat> the standard micro collision architecture that people use in video games is really busted and stupid. Uh, the way that it works is that you imagine that you're, you know, you're standing on some terrain here, right? And in the, you know, whatever the example is, got some puppy terrain. Uh, they treat the player as a, as sort of like a point that's standing here, right? And they go, well, all right. So, you know, we, let's say we're running through Havoc or something. Like, I don't know what the physics system is that the Unreal Engine uses. It's probably Havoc, but maybe it's some other thing. I don't know. Maybe it's NVIDIA's uh, thing or something. I don't know. Agia or something. But anyway, uh, we've got something that we're going to call the player that's like some box model or a bunch of collision geometry or a cylinder or whatever we're going to use. And we need to now respond to player motion that's like requesting motion in like this direction or something. So basically what they do is there's no simulation of like you, what you would actually do in real life, which is you've got a plant foot and you're pushing off on the plant foot and the, the forward foot is like seeking a downward location and you'll plant and you'll change your gait to go downhill or uphill, right? There's very little of that. Instead, what they do is they just move your box like forward and let gravity or some additional uh, higher than gravity force that they apply to you, push you downward until you hit something, right? That's it. 
So what ends up happening is when you're like running a, you know, this way, it's like, okay, you know, normally the slope is such that like I can fall and hit the new like part of the slope on each micro collision, you know, pretty reasonably. But then once the slope exceeds a certain angle, then I don't. So I'm in midair temporarily, but only for like one frame, because then immediately on the next frame, I will hit it. So you end up going through like a micro collision stutter where you're alternatingly in free fall for one frame and on the ground for another frame, free fall for one frame on the ground for one frame, etc. right? Uh, which leads to a loss of control for no reason. And you know, it's, it's just ugly and maybe you take damage because the definition of dam damage is did I, was I in free fall, blah, 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 right? So like, no, like bad, wrong way to program a game. What should actually happen, right, is you need an AI controller or something. Um, if your collision system has to go through a standard physics model, you need something that goes, okay, let's probe the area around me and figure out whether I could step, you know, I could make a step to the next place that my foot's gonna go if I continue running in this direction. And if I could, then I need to make a little path like a micro path for my player to move along between two static standing positions where I just check physics collisions but don't enter free fall during that period, right? Um, on the witness, we did something way more uh, high end than this, which is because we didn't have to go through a physics system, we just actually solve for whether you can move to a place or not and always are perfectly accurate to our movement updates. So we never had any of that problem. Um, but, uh, you know, that's not applicable for games that have to mitigate through a physics system. So you can't really apply that. Right. 